Yes, sir. This is your boy Vegas, Big Mon. Back again to give you guys some more winning prediction plays coming at you NFL Sunday, December 1st, 2019. November is in the past, right? <laughs> December is here. Christmas is right around the corner. I know you guys want to buy extra Christmas gifts for your loved ones. And how are we going to do that? Is by getting to the shmoney. All right, guys. Let's get to the shmoney today. All right. I got me a nice little card for you guys today. I got a couple plays that's already in my back pocket. I got a parlay for you guys. All right. Which is already in my back pocket. And I have a couple final thoughts. Like some thoughts. All right. I, I haven't put any of these plays yet in my back pocket. But I do have some initial leans which I'm heading towards. So just use that as a guideline for your selections today. All right, guys. So let's get it. All right. Shout out to the SGD Nation. Listen, we're still SGD. We're still killing the game. Unfortunately, yesterday we did have a losing day. Our first losing day out of the whole entire month this past November. December is already getting off to a bad start. But listen, we're going to get back right. All right, our minds are focused. We're gonna have a winning. We're gonna have us a winning day today. Let's get it. All right, we are human. All right, we are human. I mean, the last two months we've been unbelievable. We've been creatures from out of space. All right, but we're still human. Let's get back to the creature from out of space. All right, and it starts with today's card. And, and it, for, for you fans out there um, that watch the video and stuff like that, I mean, I read the comments, all right? If you guys don't know by now, I am a Haitian, all right? I am a Zoe, just letting you guys know that, all right? Mixed with a little bit of Jamaican, all right? So I have a little bit of, a little bit of both in me. I'm a crazy mix. That's why I'm Vegas Big Mon, all right? So let's get it today, guys. Just want to clarify for the ones that don't read the comments or questioning maybe, hmm, is he or is he not? Well, I am, all right? So let's get it today, guys, all right? <laughs> Man, so what did we have on our card yesterday on our premium plays? We had LSU minus 17 points. That was a big one, the only big one that we had yesterday, right? Um, that one came through for us clutch. We had Illinois, that one lost. We had Minnesota college football, that one lost plus the three points. We had Charlotte Hornets NBA, plus the 14. That one lost. Milwaukee Bucks crushed them. Uh, and then we also had Detroit, um, the Capitals, and the Red Wings, right? So Washington Capitals and Detroit Red Wings to go under six and a half goals. That one lost just last minute, too. It went to seven. Like, ah, we hate bad beasts like that, but it is what it is. Where they get back on track today, all right? Back on track today and getting to the shmoney, all right? So let's get it to the guys. Let's get it today, all right? I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the card yesterday I shared with you guys. You know, I had a couple of great games. Um, and let's get it today, man. What, what did we have yesterday, right? Um, we had Georgia first quarter minus seven. Easy cheese. They was up 17 points over Georgia Tech. We had the Oregon Ducks minus the 19 points over Oregon State. First half cashed, first quarter cash. I did share that play with our secret society group, you know, a private group. I did share those plays with my fellow peeps. Unfortunately, I didn't give you that play, you know, on, um, on this channel. So I'm going to count this one as a loss for sure. It is what it is. But we were able to cash out the first quarter in the first half. Oregon Ducks laid flat the entire rest of the game. And I think they won by like 10 points or 14 points or something like that. So it is what it is. We didn't get back on track today. Uh, we had Marshall thundering herd cover against FI yesterday. I'm sorry, guys. I did go against you guys yesterday. Gator, shout out to you. You know, listen, I played it with that guy. That guy's a great talent. He's moving on up, all right, in the death charts, man. Listen, look out for Gator, man. But shout out to him. You know, FIU, the they covered, you know, FIU covered against Marshall. It is what it is. That one dropped. 
All right. We had Will and Mary college basketball plus eight and a half against Buffalo. Buffalo crushed Will and Mary. Will and Mary is not the team that I thought they were at the beginning of the year. And we, we, we will be fading Will and Mary in the future. All right. We had Central Michigan covering against Youngstown State. That one was an easy cheese, never in doubt. Minus a seven and a half, and they covered that one with ease. All right. And then in the NBA, we had Denver Nuggets, Sacramento Kings under 207. Even though they went into overtime, it still went under. All right. So that was a never in doubter under. Maybe a second overtime would have pushed it over. But it stayed under, so we cashed that ticket. So that makes the official plays three and three, right, for yesterday. So it's an even day, not a losing day, not a winning day, but it's get us a winning day today. All right, so that pushes my official record to 25, 12, and one. All right, 25 wins, 12 losses, one push. All right, so let's get it today. Let's get some more wins on this card, and let's get you guys some sh money, all right? Starting off with the NFL today. This is what I like in the NFL card today, all right? Looking at some things, looking at some numbers, things matching, all right? When a team is facing the same team they played already early in the season, as a player, it, it's much easier on us as coaches, there's not many, um, what can I say, uh, not too much stress is put on the coaches because they already have game planned, you know, for that team. So now they're playing them again, use the same game plan, but switch some things up around. So it's not as tough in practice, you know, because we already practiced and played against that team. So we can watch the game film, see what we did wrong, and then go out and correct the mistakes, right? So Tennessee and the Colts already played this year already. So they know each other. They're already familiar with each other, right? I'm seeing the over-under at 43 and a half, all right? Past history tells me this game is going to go under because the defense are going to play better. They're going to know what's going on. They already seen this before. It's going to be like a deja vu, all right, during the game for these players. So expect the defense to play a lot better. Tennessee already got a good, themselves a good defense. The Colts already got themselves a good defense. So this is going to be a defensive game today, guys, which is why I'm taking the under 42, all right? It was at 43 yesterday. It dropped down to 42. I think the number is still good even at 40. Even. If you see it, 30 and a half, 39 or whatever, 39 and a half or 30, stay off the game, guys. You missed your opportunity. So from 43 and a half to 40, even is where I say take the bet and let's win to, and let's win today. All right. If you see that 39 and a half, whatever, stay off the game, please. Um, next game I'm sharing with you guys, right? Jaguars going against Tampa Bay Buccaneers today. If the Jaguars, like, like this is the game to do it. The last two games, getting back their quarterback, you know, was, I guess it took them some time to get going, but they was also on the road. You got to put everything into factor now. Now they're at home playing against a Tampa, uh, Tampa Bay's Buccaneers team. James Winston, you never know what you're going to get out of him. I know he beat Atlanta Falcons last week. I had James Winston, right? It looked bad early, but still cashed that ticket. Expect the Jaguars at home tonight to put the pressure on James Winston and to see if James Winston can throw to the right, cur cur uh, the right color jersey today, all right? I think James Winston might have three and a half picks today. I mean... If you see that, or if you can get that, you know, player prop, whatever, does Jameis Winston throw over two and a half interceptions today? I think he does. He gets that easily, all right? As Jameis Winston, after a great game, he always, you know, digress down 
you know, the next very game. So I'm taking Jacksonville Jaguars today, plus two and a half in-state rivalry game. All right. So Jaguars are going to bring their best. Tampa Bay is going to bring their best. But who wins the game? Personally, a little sprinkle on the money line as I think Jacksonville Jaguars can win this game outright. So I'm getting two and a half points. I think that's a gift. Let's cash this ticket. If you guys tell this one, man, good luck to us. Both of those, both of these two NFL plays are already in my back pocket. So let's get it, guys. Let's get it. Uh, my final thoughts, right? Um, this is just something that, listen, I'm not even going to count this against my winners or loss. But if you guys want to take, you know, the opportunity to, to cash out or to do whatever, that's on you. But I do think the Cleveland Browns and Pittsburgh Steelers, another, you know, you know these teams are going to go at it today for, for sure. Pittsburgh plays really good defense at home for some reason. They don't, like, they don't allow any scores. I mean, they allow some scores, but you know what I mean. Um, I don't have the official stats right here in front of me. But I do like the Cleveland Browns and Pittsburgh Steelers to go under 39 today. All right? I think that one is another good one, you know, as these teams already faced each other. So they are prepared. I mean, a couple, couple, couple games ago, right? And they got into a big fight, you know, guys getting kicked out the game, suspended, and all this other crap, you know. So expect today to be a tough fought game, all right? So I do like the Cleveland Browns and Pittsburgh to go under, but I'm not playing that game. If you guys want to play that game, good luck to you. But I'm staying off that one, as I still think, you know, this could turn on me very, very, very quick. So I'm staying off that game completely. So I'm just sharing my thoughts on that game. But I'm not going to count it wins or loss on the card today, all right? Um, let me get you my NBA play. Miami Heat, all right? Going against Brooklyn Nets today. I like the Miami Heat giving up the four points today. I caught it early at three and a half. It it has jumped up to four, but I still like four as the key number, all right? So if you guys take this four, listen, good luck to us because I got three and a half. Is that four now? I still think four wins. This is why I'm this is the hints why I'm giving you guys this giving you guys the play now. You know, on the video. I still think the four wins. So let's get it, guys. If you guys tell this play, man, good luck to us. Um, next play. San Antonio Spurs going against shitty Pistons, all right? I'm taking the Spurs plus the three points. I'm going to sprinkle a little something on the shmoney line, all right? And we're going to cash this play for sure, man, as I think San Antonio Spurs are going to just dominate Detroit Pistons today. I mean, Detroit Pistons might come out first half, you know, like they always do on fire. Second half, all right? So expect the Spurs to... Take full advantage of the Detroit Pistons' lack of second half performance. All right, San Antonio Spurs plus three points. I love that play. This one's already in my back pocket. Let's cash. Miami Heat already in my back pocket. Let's cash. And official last play I'm gonna give you guys today: Boston Celtics minus seven points over the Knicks. I think this one's an easy cheese winner. Um, I think Boston Celtics come out tonight and beat them by more than 12 points. We're going to see. Only one way to find out is by watching the game and seeing what happens when the score reads final, right? So I still think Boston Celtics come out tonight and dominate the Knicks, all right? So this one's all in my back pocket. If you guys tell this play, good luck to us, all right? I like Boston Celtics tonight. I, I really do, you know? And it's jumping up, too. If you see that 7.5, I think that's still a good number. If it's at eight, I think you should buy a half point or just stay off. My opinion. All right, guys. Um, so let's get it today. Let's get it today. All right. Now, let me show you my parlay and get you guys on your merry, merry, merry way. All right. This is a three-team parlay. I got the odds of five dimes. Like I said, I don't like to, you know, I don't like to basically – the give the books exposure, you know, um, unless you're signing me or something, whatever. But I got to tell you where I got these numbers from, too. So it help you guys, you know, hey, listen, maybe you might want to sign up for five dimes, you know. I mean, they do got some pretty good numbers. So let's get it. First one on a parlay, right? It pays out, by the way, plus 
149 on the odds, all right? Plus 149 on the odds, which means you put up $100, you're going to get back $149 in return. So in total, $249, all right? Carolina Panthers on the money line. They have to win today. They're like, if they lose today, their season is done. They're done. If they win today, they have a little bit of hope to make it to the, the wild card chase, you right? So Carolina Panthers have to win today. Hence why, you know what? I even like the run line too, all right? I'm not giving that as official play. I just, I think they come out and they smash, right? So that's a thought. That's a, a initial lean, whatever you want to call it. I, I, listen, I didn't even put that on my card today, right? But I do like the Carolina Panthers to cover the spread. If you guys take that, good luck to you. I'm not taking it personally. But they have to win today. They have to. So money line is minus two, 525. Mine is 525. That's the money line for the Carolina Panthers today. I like it. The next one, Green Bay Packers. Listen, we got embarrassed last week by the 49ers. I understand. Low-key, I had the 49ers. I'm not going to... But listen, I like Green Bay. I mean, listen, when we get embarrassed the following week, we come back and we and do the embarrassing, right? So Green Bay Packers tonight, are they, they're going to win tonight. There's no doubt in my mind, my Green Bay Packers are going to get the job done today, all right? Green Bay Packers money line, that's final, minus 300, lock it in. The next one is going to be Miami Heat on the money line, all right, versus Brooklyn, like I said before, which is why I'm taking them on a run line to all the points, whatever. It's two different ways you can say it. Run line, points, people have so many different ways to say it, but the correction, the, the correct ways to say points, right? Miami Heat on the money line today, just to win outright um, on this parlay, minus 175. So Carolina Panthers, NFL, money line. Green Bay Packers, NFL, money line. Miami Heat, NBA money line minus 175 pays plus 149 on the odds. All right, guys. So if you guys tell these plays, good luck to us. Let's get to the sh money today. All right. We're going to have us a winning day. SGD. If you guys want the premium plays, our best plays, come check us out, man. SGDwins.com. All right. Leave the link here in the description. And as always, guys, bet within your means. Let's get to the shmoney. Like, share, subscribe. Down low, wherever it's at. Like, share, subscribe. And let's get to the shmoney, guys. Let's get to the shmoney. All right? Big day today. This win. Vegas Big Mon. Yes, sir. Out.